Yes, madam. Yes, I'm Hi, this is Keith Rob Lobo reporting live for British Asian News. We're here with Purnima, the organizer of this event, a serving police officer, a metropolitan event. She is going to give us a few words about the event today. Could you tell us a bit more, please? Why Guruji Ka Khalsa, Why Guruji Ka Fateh. I would like to wish everyone a very happy Guru Pook. It's such a wonderful, wonderful occasion for the whole world to celebrate. And can I just say that I'm not a serving officer. I retired in 2015 after 35 years of operational frontline police duties and proud to be the first Asian policewoman and the longest serving at the time and of my retirement you know, to be part of the Metropolitan Police. Thank you. Now, this event over here, it's amazing. There's at least 500 people over here. Why do all these people come here? What for? I think they're attracted by the legacy and the philosophy of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. You know, his message of equality is so important. And especially in today's world, you know, when there's so much of hatred, there's so much of racial tension, there's all these killings amongst the youngsters, you know, knife attacks and things like that. So I think the strong message we want to send to the communities out there, because Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, you know, the spirit of universal brotherhood, it doesn't matter who you are, what caste you belong to, what creed or social you know, status, we are all children of one God. So let's work together. And that is my main aim. You know, when I organized this particular event, my main uh, vision was to work with the communities, you know, diverse communities of our country and to promote, you know, the understanding that by better understanding and working together and living together with various communities and the benefits, let's work together, community to cohesion, in peace and in harmony. And that was the message of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. On the second thing, you know, I'm a champion of equality, diversity and inclusion. Very, very important once again. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, you know, he spoke so highly and the gurus, all our gurus, respected, utmost respect, you know, for females. Yet, over here, when you look at our history, our British history, you know, women were regarded as property. And this year is so important when we celebrate the Sex Disqualification Removal Act, the centenary of it, which made it possible for women, you know, once again, for the first time in our British history, women were not regarded as property, but as person. So this helped us to join various occupations which we were prohibited, such as police officers, law, barristers, like I said, medicine, uh, solicitors, so it opened the gateway. Whereas you know, in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time, in all our Gurujis and also the Hindu you know, saints, it was very much equality, equality in all sense. Now I'm very passionate about empowering women, you know, particularly because uh, there are a lot of women out there and young girls who are suffering in silence, you know, in terms of you know, being victims of sexual exploitation, child sexual exploitation, grooming, and all kinds of other evils. So this, as a police officer, as a frontline police officer, a lot of people ask me, oh, why didn't you take promotion? But for me, it was so important, seva. You know, to serve humanity is to serve God. And for me, out there, you know, I did early, late at nights for 35 years on the streets and brought justice to the victims of horrific crimes. You know, women who are subjected to such evil, you know, uh, it, it breaks my heart. But at the end of the day, I worked very hard on the case, you know, tirelessly to bring justice to the victims and their family and bring the perpetrators before the law of the land, the judicial system, and let them decide. Uh, my message would be, please, 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 come forward and join the armed forces, join the police forces. As a police officer, I would always say, you know, it's a fantastic career. I'm a living example of it. A pioneer policewoman, a trailblazer. If I can do it, anyone else can. So come, and join us, and make a difference to the community. And it's all about going back to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, what he said, we want to create an equal, egalitarian society and do good sarbaddabala you know the whole universe you know so as police officers you will get a, a fantastic opportunity to shape policing both inside by making policies and you know doing those kind of things and and reducing crime and also you know making a difference by protecting 
public from harm, keeping them safe, not just in our country, but globally. And this is what I've done. You know, I mean, like I said, you know, I've got so many uh, accommodations and letters of appreciation, you know, from people from all over the world, you know, who have praised, not just me, but officers like myself who go out there. You see, as police officers, you know, when people walk or run in the other direction, we go towards the danger. And each and every day, 365 days a year, police officers out there risking their own lives, putting their lives on the line, service and sacrifices. And this is what Baba Nanak Devji told. Um, Thank you. That was the most passionate and lovely thing I've ever heard. Thank you very much. Now, this is Keith Lobo reporting live with a hero.